Seems kind of blurry on here. Okay. And what are you two to? Hello, 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 everyone. Everything is starting to come through here. And I'm just going to get a bit more vibrant energies into this room. As I'm feeling these energies. Well, now we are here on this beautiful, beautiful morning for Master Monday. And I'm open to receiving a message from the Infinite Masters today. So I'm just bringing in the stillness and bringing in the beautiful essence of the stillness. as we open up our hearts and minds to be in oneness and a beautiful vibration of coherency of the heart and the mind. Breathe in the stillness around you. Feel the essence arriving on top of your head and into your heart in a oneness, flowing, vibration of peace. Just relax your shoulders, relax your palm chakras open on your lap. Your feet are anchored in Gaia. This is your root chakra where you are sitting, anchoring you. Spinal column is straight, and so that we can build a beautiful column of light of protection of a higher plasma crystal light vibrations around you, around all of us. around the entire planet. And Amana Yejit is the plasma frequencies that is unveiling and activating the crystals of light that is being amplified as we are breathing in the fifth dimension each day now. And Amana Yejit, so we are moving rapidly into a higher consciousness of light waveforms without working on this and just breathing in the essence. <laughs> That's just clearing an energetic field around you that they wanted to do that vibration of light. So I just wanted to bring in the divine masters that work with me and transmit light onto you. And see what they're going to say about this year as it's unraveling. This is, this is the duality of knowing. You have recognized the masculine and feminine frequencies within you that is spiraling you into the essences of these unseen spheres that are becoming your holograms of light around you 
or as we have mentioned many times, wheels within wheels of light, spirals within spirals of wheels of light. And you are beginning to see and feel these new energies of these higher wheels of sacred geometries of light intelligences that is bathing all elements, all kingdoms on the planet with plasma. Spectrums of light frequencies that do carry light intelligences. And so there are many days where you are feeling a little bit disorientated, a little bit uncertain, heaviness on the heart, heaviness on the back of the head or on the neck. There's tightness on the neck. At the back here of the neck, this is where the crystal star seeds are being activated within you. And they're bursting out these frequencies of ascension, of heightened intelligences. in your pivotal chakra portals of the body and the chakras of the head, third eye, crown, back of the third eye, the back of the head, obligata, behind the back of the neck of the throat chakra, and temples and inner ears. And these portals of the head, including this, this solar plexus, and the coccyx area of the tailbone. These are very, very heightened portals on the body where these chakras are experiencing these ascension frequencies is waking up the crystal seeds inside those portals. And so therefore, many of us are having different plateau days where you're moving into different transitional states. Of moving into a higher vibration of knowingness, recalling, rejuvenating. And yes, as we have mentioned before, regenerating the cellular memories into light quotients of your timelines. And no matter where you are oscillating in your own transitional minds and hearts, no matter what states you are moving into in your consciousness, your grid systems, of all of your soul light timelines are floating above and beyond and the etheric realms are in alignment to your human state of consciousness. As these plasma frequencies align the crystal consciousness that is within those awakened sonar chakras of crystal seeds, while you are having those unknowing moments, that is what is taking place inside you. A pivotal moment is taking place and you just have to take a deep breath in. I receive the adjustment. I allow the alignment and releasement of any heaviness to take place in this very now moment. and let it go and breathe it in, in that moment, and then carry on. These unseen but now very brilliant vibrational strand beings 
are arriving in orbs and sacred geometries on Gaia's elements. There are more starships that move around of these spectrums of light orbs. They know our crystal consciousness of light that is transmitting within these matrix fields becoming holographic fields that we are building unconsciously as we are elevating into these states of the fifth dimensional consciousness and beyond. It means that we're always being monitored or gathered into a frequency of absolute vibrations of light beings, consciousness that is building our all-knowing, all-being, all-seeing, all-hearing frequencies intuitively within us so that we can gently elevate our consciousness into a higher mind, a higher telepathic superconscious mind, and so that we can begin communicating more often into what is flowing in these plasma energy fields around us that we are not aware of, except that we're going through these different plateaus of thinking, feeling, and becoming on random moments of the day. So you're going to be able to start tapping into these crystal codes inside your crystal seeds that are no longer dormant within these chakra portals. What other information is it that you would deliver in this now moment that is to be recognized, harmonized, and synchronized into their awakened minds and vibrational heartbeats? This is a year of many integrations and connections, beginning with this spring equinox child. It will be arriving to prepare all crystal star souls. to come to resonate and activate and integrate their star seedlings of sacred codes that will be awakening even brighter shimmering on spring equinox as they are shimmering and awakening on spring equinox within the sacred portals of their body an inner mind's eye will be sparking the sacred seeds in the pineal crystals to be more than intuitive. Yes, resonating into infinite light reality, super conscious minds. They will be then settled into an all knowing state and absolutely prepared for the unveiling of who they truly are on Easter Sunday, of a heightened resurrecting moment that will be received by those who are tapping into their crystal codes on Easter weekend, when even larger masses of the Merkaba starships will be arriving onto this planet. 
and more bathing and synchronizing of the spectrums of plasma light quotients of energies will be received. You don't know what it is now, so you are now in this second month, a powerful month of two, two, a sacred moment on the 22nd day, two, two. A portal. A significant portal to do that will align you and catapult you into vibrations of preparations for those two significant dates of spring equinox and Easter weekend when you will be moving into heightened vibrations of your light consciousness. You will begin seeing, hearing, feeling the sacred geometries of the plasma essences of pyramid formations that will be opening on the portals on Gaia's sacred ley lines, those portals of pyramids of Giza temples, Chitsen Itza temples, Tikal temples, Ayers Rock temple, Easter Island temples, Stonehenge, Candle stones, many, many stone temple structures that do connect into the etheric pyramids in the realms will be all the transmitter frequencies that the plasma frequencies will be enhancing of light for frequencies and codes into your pineal crystal codes into your inner heart seeds so that yes on this Easter you will be spiraling and elevating and ascending and then transcending back into your body into your sonar chakras of the body that will be lighting you up crystallizing your minds and hearts What it should did it go by the day and it just happens, children. It is your awakening. It is this year where we are rapidly moving, shifting, and transcending throughout all of 2024, a year of eight. This is a year where all moments of time, daylight, sunlight, evening, starlight will rapidly be moving. Therefore, your minds will be intertwining into those spatial telepathic frequencies that will heighten you into these unknowing plasma frequencies and therefore you will no longer be in these wavering, uncertain thought forms. What is it that you are to do throughout this year, beginning now in preparations for the 2-2, a significant portal date in this month of two? I would have to say you should become very polarized. Then you will be synchronized to these higher dimensions as you are awakening the crystal soul seeds within your bodies. Did you know that the crystal soul seeds have ascension frequencies inside of them? What a year this will be. 
And there will be the activations that will be ongoing throughout the months. And there will be alignments that you will be feeling and becoming as you stay polarized. Because we are operating in a human form. And we need to keep our bodies and our minds fully intertwined and balanced to the grid systems of our body's grid systems and to the grid systems that are tapping into the chakras in our head, crown, third eye, front and back, temples, obligata, throat, front and back, must be polarized intertwining and anchoring inside the human form. And for some of you, it'll just happen throughout these days of the second month and third month of spring equinox in the Easter, where you will just start shape-shifting of being in one spatial moment of time beyond the beyond and back in your body again. You will teleport into another field of consciousness without knowing it because the star seed within your crystal pineals, the star seeds within your heart are becoming more active than you realize. And so you are rapidly transitioning and ascending and transcending. Some would say bilocating. Some would say telepathically teleporting where your mind is here, but also retrieving and seeing and feeling in another dimension and teleporting those thought forms back into your human mind. It's just going to happen. However, the body and the essence of who you are must be polarized into Gaia's body through your foot chakras and through your heart chakras. Those two areas, heart and feet, must be polarized into the planet. We are creator consciousness of a human form. Even though we have thousands upon thousands of essences of timelines and dimensions and strands of light, lifetimes, We are here in human forms and we are in a human creator consciousness vibration that has been formatted onto this planet. So we must stay polarized onto this planet. You'll be transmitting information from your hearts and from your minds onto one another. And the crystal star seeds within you will be telepathically connecting and taking you into ascended states of consciousness so that you can transmit knowledge to these Merkaba starships and holograms and plasma fields around you. And your journeys will be fascinating to the many systems and grids, grid lines and portals and galaxies that you will be telepathically transmitting into while sitting here, polarized into Gaia. It is the only way that you can retrieve and sustain the information back into your crystal soul seeds inside your solar chakra body that are awakening. And some of these adjustments and alignments are coming in rapidly, but they're coming into tone and tone our vibrational minds into these sacred geometry patterns of plasma frequencies that's moving around the top of your head and around your ears and eyes and obligata at the back. So all of this adjusting and tweaking is taking place in each day. In your inner mind's eyes, 
are more adaptive to these higher frequencies. And so you're getting the sparks of light out of the corner of your eyes. And the crown chakra is pulling in more energies and adjusting the inner mind, left brain, right brain, eyes, ears, sensory fields are adapting. And we're just asking from the infinite realms that you just receive and just be your me. Me, master energy. And allow the essence of these plasma frequencies that you're seeing in the different orbs and hues and colors and shapes arriving around the sun, around the waters, around the elements. Just allow them to dance around you. And when you see them with your human eye, incept them into your star seeds to generate a connected vibration of telepathic communication, not just awareness now. Your telepathic awareness has taken place. But now, in this year 2024, we are now able to step into the new doorways, the new passageways, the new corridors, and then we're floating through our minds into a higher superconscious telepathic mind that has been awakened. It is a message that had to be delivered today of polarizing your minds, your hearts, your beings, and the essence of who you are. Will be transforming and throughout this year transcending. I am mastering my own energies into a heightened reality, would be your new concept of thinking so that you are releasing those waveforms of interruptive thought forms, of lowering vibrations, of inconsistencies, of derailing your alignment into this I am in mastery energy of my higher light reality consciousness. That is the waveform that you want to bring in to continue to activate the crystal star seeds inside the body, inside the mind, inside the soul being of your inner child who is ready to shift, to transform, and be ready for the next dates where we will be further talking about in this transitional year. I will be going into this topic of the star seeds and the evolution of moving into higher consciousness on the Master Speak event on February 16th. It, on my, it's a Friday at 1 p.m. Just an hour. I want to speak for an hour on the, on the February 16th. Okay. Oh boy. What's the enemy yet to know? That is a clearing that is coming in. Okay. 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 Sometimes there is an energy coming in. Excuse the bark of the dog and the someone knocking at the door. <laughs> boy, oh boy, it happens. It happens. But guess what? I'm in my master energy mind. 
I am focused and I am polarized into the enlightenment and that my inner soul being and mine moves up into the curvatures of a higher spiral vibration of light. Breathe it in. Connect to your cord, your telepathic waveform. Adjusts you, realigns you. Hold. Listen to the stillness of the plasma frequencies around you. Connect to the higher vibrations around you now. Synchronize. Polarize your root chakra and your feet chakras into Gaia. As you are holding on to this frequency of your higher mind, it is lighting up the crystal star seeds in the pineal and heart. Deep breath in to be oneness of your higher octaves of frequencies of higher intelligent mind. And breathe those octaves into your heart to bless the star seed in your heart chakra. That is sparking light around you and refueling your body with a higher essence back into your master energy. There we go. That is what you do when you have an interruptive frequency. And I'm so glad we had the little interruption just so that we could demonstrate how we get back into the higher consciousness and not be altered or be frustrated because then you're going into those frequencies that we do not want to oscillate in anymore. We don't want to be frustrated. We don't want to be agitated. Yes, there are interruptions, but we are taking care of the interruptions by transmitting ourselves back into the reality of being in oneness.